Hello. My name is Zach. Ooh, colors. You know what? I mean, I can't write as fast as I can speak, right? This is kind of common. So we're just going to go out there and just wipe away everything here. So what are we looking at today? We're looking at a game called Dry Erase, the Dry Erase Ultimate Virtual Whiteboard. And it's exactly what you'd expect from a virtual whiteboard. Now you can't see my hand positioning, but I would tell you for stability purposes, you want to have your thumbs probably on between, well, between here and here, and then you kind of have your finger on the trigger and hold it in your hand there. Otherwise, you're going to have some strange problems with uh, stuff. So this is a kind of a cool game. Well, it's not really a game. It's more of a whiteboard is exactly what it is. Uh, and it does exactly as you expect. It's just a whiteboard. Nothing too much to see about that. But I would tell you that there's some cool stuff here that we can look at. Let's go back. Okay, there we go. All right, I want to render beautiful because I'm beautiful, you know what I mean? Uh, go ahead and bring up the opacity here for a bit just to show you the opacity you can get. Uh, so I think we're going to get there. So once you've got yourself a good position, you can do this. I'm kind of extending my entire arm full length right here. So it's not an optimal position to be writing in. Really what you want to do is probably get closer. So I like the grid. Also, I'm putting my finger, my index finger up here. Right, so I mean, it's exactly what it is, a writing app. Now what you can do is when you hit the track, the, the directional thing there, once you get your short list of recently used ones, but if you click it again, you get an entire palette of colors and you know, you see the colors changing this way, but going this way changes the tip, right? So you can get something as small as say, Make sure I'm on the right size. Let's do a nice blue, deep blue. Very little, very fine point. Right. This is fine. <laughs> so if we go, say, a little bit more. Oh, by the way, if you if you use your track your directional thing to go left or right. It changes like undo redo, so not as fine, right? Uh, whatever. Um, other things is you get your eraser. You can do the same thing over here where you have. In dual world markers, right? So, do 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 do. All right, that was enough of that. Uh, let's see what else. So you can go all the way up to say something like this. It gives you a lot of colors, a lot of, um, you know, that's just the size of the the, the dib. Uh, so, you know, pretty detailed. Virtual marker, dry erase. Do, 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 do. And so this is, you know, there's not a lot else going on here. I mean, there you can go out there and um, export this as an SVG for saving and sharing purposes. But... You know, we can, we do, and you know, it's basically an infinite, I mean, I'm not going to test this forever, 
let's put it that way. But you can't see it infinitum. But you can if you look up, kind of. It kind of fades to the white there. So we'll just work in the, the meantime. So let's let's draw some things. Um, let's try and keep it clean just for the purposes of not being banned on YouTube. It's fine. I mean, of course, there's no custom like color going on there I want to use. We can get a nice deep red. We have to hit the trigger finger and get up here. And another thing is, let me get this. You don't have to click a button. It's just touch and it goes, which can be good or bad depending on your experience. But this. This won't accidentally wipe your, your board without hitting the trigger finger like that. So, so what should we draw here? Um, we can draw a, uh, a happy face, right? Uh, there's a grid pattern one, two, and then smirk. So we can just say, what? You know, you know how a whiteboard works. So that's basically it. So I'm just gonna here and just draw around things. Well, I think I've done my uh, due diligence and looked at doing a thought experiment. So, I mean, this is more a demonstration of what you can do in it. I was doing an actual example of what I would do on a whiteboard, uh, which was bringing VR capability to the office. And the minimum spec is the 1050 Ti, right? And I'm not really going to go in this. And my machines, kind of what they have. The point I bring up is, you know, it doesn't meet minimum requirements for power, or all for the stuff and whatever. If you're following along, you can probably guess. You can probably get some of this. I'm just showing you that 
can do this. New review. Of course, the very end. Ha 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 ha. Sad face. All right. Anyway, this was a demonstration of uh, doing whiteboards in VR. Have fun.